good. Nice. Fishing, uh, fishing this jig. This is the pig jig by Cumberland Pro. New jig they came out with Cumberland Craw, I believe. And I really trimmed down the skirt, put this little speed craw on there. It's a good fish, man. Um, it's slow out here. Fish are skinny though, but um, just fishing this bluffs. Got my boat out here in about 25 feet. Now I'm throwing up in about six to eight and dragging it out. Just dragging it out and been getting a few bites down this bank. Got a little tail, man. But yeah, that's cool, man. Good. Good to feel a little bit of weight finally. I've been catching a bunch of small fish. Kind of liking this jig. It's got this kind of modified arky head on it. Got a perfect weed guard. It's not too stiff, not too soft. It's got a four rod hook in there. It's kind of a it's a mid wire. I mean, it's stout, but it's also thin enough that you can fish it on a little bit lighter line. Throwing it on 15 pound test. Just a little speed crawl in there. A little green pumpkin speed crawl. Shallow. Let's get a little pig jig. Put a little speed crawl in there. Trim the skirt down. Make it a real finessey half ounce Carolina crawl. And it's not much of a fish. But on a tough day, I'm happy to have that little sucker. All right, folks. I kind of want to show you what I'm doing here. We just got a main lake bluff bank right here. And the wind is really howling down through. It's been kind of slow. You know, we're getting into the even time. And the fish have finally started to feed a little bit. They're suspended really bad. It's that time of year where they get suspended and they're just hard to catch. They just don't want to buy it. I've been messing with them on live scope, you know, throwing up all up in their grill and they won't touch it. It's super frustrating. So I got a jig bite going. Just working this windy main lake bluffy stuff. And I'll show you what I'm looking at up here on the live scope. Boat's in like 17, 18 foot of water. Here's the drop right here. And then there's another drop right out here. So we're just kind of throwing our jig right in this area working it down and there's see there's a fish right there and they're just sitting out here suspended they're really suspended bad I'm just waiting for these fish to kind of pull up on this stuff but i'm just working these little rocks any kind of little rock any kind of hard spot that's where i've been getting bites at and i'm just going to keep on continuing to see these fish just swimming around up there they need to get down on the bottom so we can catch those suckers but that's what's going on it's a grind summertime grind and uh it's nice to finally get a few bites out here Okay, and it felt like a bite and then it felt like it dropped it. And so I was reeling it in to make another cast. And uh, <laughs> I guess that sucker came up off the bottom and grabbed it. But that was cool. There we go, look at that. I think that fish wanted that. That was a cool bite, really cool bite. You gotta be on your toes out here in this wind, I'm bouncing that thing around. I thought I had a bite and it kind of went away and I was reeling it in and she smoked it. It's fun. Same jig. Really had to trim that sucker down. I need to retie. Come on, fish. Now oh, you're in that shade. Gotcha. I knew you were back. Oh, you came off. You little sucker. Dang it. I knew there was one back there, though. Get a little drop right here. Get a little drop. 
drop, you get grass on top of this ledge and it drops off. So you got two little drops and another little drop right here. It's kind of still a bluffy type bank. It doesn't look like it on the, in the woods, but it's a pretty steep drop right here. Got a little bit of lay down. And then right around the corner, we got some more bluff. Try to hit that before it gets dark. See if we can pick up another fish. Now, these lay downs, man. You find a lay down on a bluff bank, there's always a fish on it. It may not bite, but he's there. I promise you that. There he is. Came right off that lay down. This color too. Good fish. There you go. Switch jig colors. Broke that uh, Carolina crawl off, and this is a smash pumpkin. And it seems like they like this too. You know, just fishing this kind of bluffy stuff. That fish came off a piece of wood. There's a lay down on there, and man, never pass up a lay down. Never. Good jig, man. A little bit different color. Still speed crawl trailer. Solid fish. Happy to have them. Got a little more time, maybe we'll catch another one. Who knows? All right, I'll show you how to rig this jig up. Um, this is a half ounce pig jig. This is called Smash Pumpkin. The color that I was getting all my bites on was Carolina Crawl, I think. But this should work. It's a little darker, um, but we'll try. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my scissors. And I've been modifying this jig. I'm going to cut this skirt about where the hook bend is. So I just kind of hold it. I don't like to cut it perfectly straight across, so I kind of just do this right here just kind of halfway trim it kind of come in here like this i like to keep it kind of buggy looking instead of having just a straight edge i'm gonna keep going down i keep cutting it down a little bit more i'm gonna leave a couple strands along it's not gonna hurt anything but that's kind of what we're looking at you know it's short jig and then i'll take my speed crawl speed crawl's got three legs on each side so i'm gonna tear the first two sets off like that so you've just got the pinchers then one set of little flippers and then you're just going to thread that sucker on there like this thread it right up there this jig's got a pretty good keeper it stays on there nice and it's going to look like that got a little bit sideways on there but that's okay it'll be it'll be fine so that's what we're looking at and then i'm going to take this chartreuse die and I'm going to just hit the tips. Just put like a little dot right there on both sides. Boom, boom. Spike it pins, they're real handy. They don't get real messy in the boat. The dye gets messy. The dye gets darker, but I kind of like that more subtle color. So that's what we're looking at. Just a little bit of dye on each side. And then I'm just going to take my line here and we're going to tie San Diego Jam Knot. I've got some frayed line that I need to cut off. So we're just going to do this right here. It's a simple knot. And you can double it up if you want to, but I just do it single. And so you just pinch it right here and swing it. Wrap it around there like five or six times. Six times like that. And there'll be a little loop in the top. It's hard to see because i got these sunglasses on. It's getting dark. Come through that loop, slide it, moisten it, pull it down like that, and you're good to go. There he is. Alright, the jig fish. Got a bluff pattern going, folks. A bluff pattern going. It's in 20 and that fish was in about 12. Throwing that smash pumpkin. It's fun. It was fun. It's a good jig. It is a good jig. Here's one of the really cool, useful things about live scope. Like we're fishing this bluff right here. Here's the live scope. My boat's in 40 feet. But as you pan the head of the trolling motor around, you start seeing that bluff. So there's the drop right there. That drops like in 16 drops down that first drops like in 20 ish 
and then it rolls back off to where the boat's at in 38. This is some grass up there. So you can try to throw your bait like right here, work it down that first drop and then kind of out. You know, most of these fish have been coming in that 14 foot zone. So just kind of key in on this little area right here. But that's what's one of the cool things about live scope is just being able to see the actual structure. And there's some small fish swimming around right there. So I pan down this bank, it just gets deep. Oh. <laughs> I think that was a blue wheel. Never know though. Never know. That's what those bass are feeding on up there. They're feeding on bluegill. So oh god. I don't think that was a bluegill. I don't know though. You're starting to get bluegill bites. To me, it means you're in the right area and you've got the right color. <laughs> and I'm definitely getting bluegill bites. I still think that one of those was a bass. It sure felt like it. Try it again. Some rough rock. Okay, there's a bite. Right on that drop. My line just falling straight down. So we're boats in 23 and I'm getting a bite right there in about six, right before it falls off that little drop. So that tells you something. They're wanting to be on that first drop there. Good pass. God. <laughs> that fish thumped it. I thought that was an old flathead. Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers. That's a good one. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, jig fish. <laughs> yeah. Got my goober on, baby. This uh, bluff stuff's paying off. Throwing these jigs down these bluff walls, man. It is fun. It's a good fish. Chunky, healthy fish. Nice. Finley! <laughs> Finley! Do you love it? Finley. Do you love that air? Guys, if you don't know what the auto retrieve is, um, you can see up underneath my graph here, that little nipple. Well, underneath is a retractable system that all this twine goes into. And so I just pick it up when I get hung up. It's got a hound dog retriever. It stays right there, it's out of the way. It's seriously, it saved me like 20 bucks today. Her off a little wall and uh, she sucked it down. Holy moly, that was sweet! Up there chasing bluegills. Come here. There we go. Nice. 
this is our fish on the little bluffs. Jig and bluffs, baby. Look at that, folks. It's a nice one. I just missed a good one underneath that tree. And, uh, you know, I'm just working down these little ledges, these bluffs. They, you know, you, you see the bluff out of the water and then it drops straight down about 10 feet and then it comes out about 5 feet and then it drops back down about 20. And these fish in the summertime, they'll just sit up on these ledges. So you're just kind of hopping your jig off the ledge and let it fall. And as soon as it fell off that first little drop, she sucked it in. That was a fun trip. Give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, jigs on bluffs. It's a great pattern in the summertime. This lake doesn't have a lot of bluffs, but fortunate enough to get a few bites on the bluffs that it does have. Check out this Cumberland Pro pig jig. This is Carolina Crawler, I believe. It's been a good one, a little speed crawl. Till next time.